Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Cancer? Keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. Ooh. Time to set new goals. It's time for you to set new goals, Cancer. This is a good one. Unexpected help is arriving. This is a star, right? This is unexpected help arriving. So that's great. That is great. We got some unexpected help arriving. It's time for you to this help. This somebody is going to help you with these new goals that you are setting. We have the magician. The magician is a card of manifestation. It is a car it's yes answer to a question. As above, so below. Getting something that you asked for. It's, it, it really does align with that unexpected help. You may have called in some help or manifested some help. It's interesting because you're headed towards victory. You're headed towards success. You're headed in a new direction. I feel like you're taking the lead. You're taking charge. You're getting in the driver's seat. You're the boss. You are gaining control. You may be even gaining some momentum during this time. Um, I feel like there's a there's a receiving something that you have definitely been asking for. You're going to be in a position of power by the looks of things. It's a very powerful time for you. I feel like you have all the resources that you need for success. You may be creating a new life for yourself. Definitely moving, uh, taking action. You're in control. You're you're driving this ship. You're you're driving in a new direction. You really are. Some of you may be actually moving. It's like dealing with opposition. You know, having the resources, finding the resources, using your resources. You may be even given some resources because that unexpected help is arriving. Um, so, what do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? going through some sort of spiritual awakening as well. I think that you're going through a transformation. It's like you're willing to do whatever it takes to be successful. And if it means that you have to set new goals, and I do believe that you are setting new goals. You are creating. You are becoming your best creator. You're creating. You are a creator. You are creating. So you're creating during this time. You're in charge. You're being in charge. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles reversed. The Hangman reversed. The Ace of Cups reversed. The Ten of Cups. The Devil. Page of Pentacles reversed. The Two of Cups. Three of Wands reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. Let's talk about your person real quick. Let's get some cards on whoever it is that's in your energy. It may not be who you think it is. But let's just see about somebody that you're dealing with. Death. Page of Cups reversed. Three of Swords. And the Page or the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Something could be happening very suddenly. Something may have happened that you did not see coming. I don't know if it was a sudden departure. Um, somebody may have left your life suddenly or you left their lives suddenly. Um, I feel like there's been some reckless behavior. That's what you didn't see coming or you don't see coming. That's recklessness. It is um, somebody uh, acting inappropriately. And there's. I feel like there's some sort of consequences for inappropriate behavior. Whoever you're dealing with... Um, may have broken your heart we have death page of cups reversed three of swords and the knight of pentacles this person may have uh, not been practical they may have not wanted responsibility they may have let their emotions get the best of them they may have broken your heart i don't know if there's been some cheating unfaithfulness jealousy possessiveness unrealistic not practical heartbreaking sorrow you know whoever you're dealing with i feel like broke your heart um they may not have wanted maybe it was an unrequited love situation they weren't interested in having a long-term situation with you um and i feel like it has ended and it's it's really hard to let it go 
I feel like you are probably in some sort of pain over somebody that has separated. This is a separation with the Three of Swords. It's separation or loss. Uh, whoever you're dealing with is not very stable. You know, they're not stable. They're not solid. They're not secure. They're not interested. Uh, they're lazy. They may have some food issues, you know, or they have a self-image problem. And they're just not... Uh, looking for some sort of solid relationship or something like that and now this could go vice versa if you're the cross watcher this could be your cancer person uh, there is somebody here that uh, there's definitely separation and loss with the death of the three of swords it's heartbreaking it is definitely heartbreaking somebody whoever there is somebody here whose heart is absolutely broken okay this is a broken heart Somebody's heartbroken. They're heartbroken over a separation. Um, but I feel like uh, there's wasted time. I feel like I feel like uh, the ties. This was a toxic situation. There was some sort of addictions. We have the devil with right next to the three of wands reverse. The devil is toxic. It's unhealthy. Not putting in effort. Eight of Pentacles reverse. It didn't work out because it was toxic. It wasn't healthy. It was a. It was an obsession. It was. Somebody was obsessed with something. They were obsessed with, I don't know, I feel like we have some serious addictions here. They were, and, and, and an obsession is an addiction, could be codependency. We have somebody here that was bound to an unhealthy situation, which caused something to not be successful. And I feel like, I feel like somebody's been waiting for somebody to come back that has already left. There's no coming back. There's a need to heal. There's a need to go within and stop putting in effort. You have all the resources to move in a new direction. And I feel like that's what you're going to be doing. I feel like, I feel like like this is a big release it's a and it's hard to release it's hard to let go I feel like in your future you have a partnership that is going to make you extremely happy with the two of cups and the ten of cups but it's not with the one that broke your heart and I know that you don't want to hear that I know that a lot of you don't want to hear that the person that broke your heart I feel like it's completely over with that person I don't feel like that person is coming back that person is uh, not interested in putting in effort and building a foundation. They're not, the, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. This person is not interested in commitment. Okay, they're not interested in committing to you or whatever the case is. I feel like you need to move on. You have a happy union right in your future. But I feel like your emotions are all over the place. We have the Ace of Cups reversed and the Hangman. Okay, the Hangman, whether it's reversed or upright, is like wasting time. And that's mirroring the Three of Wands reversed. It's like you're wasting your time. You need to make a decision to let go. And I feel like the struggle with the hangman reverse, the struggle to let go is real. It's like, no, I'm not going to let go. I'm not going to let go. I'm not going to let go of this toxic obsession. I'm not going to let go of this toxic, toxic bond. I feel like I feel like I feel like there's somebody here that has given up. They're not putting in any effort to the to the partnership, and I feel like there's a reason. The reason is is because they're not interested in commitment. I mean, the middle card is the Page of Pentacles reverse. That's like I'm not interested in commitment. I mean, that's the very middle card. That's the main energy. I'm not interested in doing this. I'm not interested. So either you're not interested or they're not interested. And then the Ten of Pentacles is reversed. That could be a change of, of home, a change of residency. You know, it's like a change of residence. It's a change of residence. Fighting, fighting over money. You could be dealing with somebody who's not paying or they're not willing to give freely their their money. They're more, fo they're more focused on money than and materialistic items than they are a relationship. And I feel, But I feel like that's in the past. And I feel like... Uh, we have somebody here that has been hanging on to a dead end, waiting for this person to come back around that is not even interested in commitment. And I feel like you need to master your emotions, focus on the future. The Ace of Cups reverse, that's, that's drowning in emotions, drowning in emotions over a partnership. Um, I feel I feel like short-lived success. I feel like somebody got themselves into a relationship just for the money, you know, just for the stability of it. 
and I feel like it has ended. I feel like that has ended because it was an unrequited love situation and it needs to be accepted. It needs to be, it needs to be released. You, somebody needs to accept. Sometimes people move extremely fast without thinking into relationships for codependent reasons and the and the devil is very codependent and it is in your past and I feel like you may have and it could be sex it could be for sex it could be for lust it could be for money it could be just for the codependent reason I need I can't be alone I need to have somebody to hold on to you know I need to have somebody I need to have that validation that I'm not alone and I feel like that's that's like somebody has moved into something very very fast you know for attention and you know now they're paying the price because hey man reverse is punishment so i feel like you're paying somebody and it's probably you paying the price for doing something without thinking now now there's like unrequited love and there's a need to uh stabilize yourself and move slowly into the next one so that's a bit of advice that you need to take to heart okay if you don't want to get your heart broken don't be rushing into sh shit Okay, you need to go slow. You need to go and I see that you really need to go slow. You need to think. You need if you want to if you want to have abundance and you want to have a long-term relationship which you absolutely can have, you need to move slowly into it. You don't rush into things just because you don't want to be alone or you need some instant gratification. And I think that's one of your lessons here is about instant gratification. Somebody is being punished. Hey, me in reverse is punishment. It is. And it's almost like self-punishment. You know, you caused this, no offense or anything, you caused this by rushing into something. Um, Page of Pentacles reversed, that is not interested, dropping out, dropping out, wasted time, unprepared, lack of emotional growth, staying put be for financial reasons, somebody has stayed in or because of stability reasons, somebody has is staying put just for the or they did stay put just for those reasons. Right around the corner, I do see a happy a happy partnership, but it comes after some sort of death. There is happiness around the corner. We have a happy union around the corner. But right now, there's a lot of sadness and hanging on. Hanging on to something that didn't work out. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles didn't work out. Hangman, hanging on. Ace of Cups, sadness. Hanging on to a relationship that didn't work out. Because of codependent reasons. We have somebody here that is dealing with a player that is not interested in... in they're not going to change their mind. Their mind is made up. They've already left. They've already went. So it's time to let go. It's time to release. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is goodbye. I mean, it is, it's goodbye. It's like a, there's no going back now. And there's definitely an addiction here. It could be a sexual addiction. It could also be drugs or alcohol that has impacted, you know, somebody's ability to make the right decision. There is, a, there is extreme happiness in the future, there is, but I feel like you need to stop looking back. It's like you keep looking back, you keep looking back, and I know I have some of you that are, that are waiting for somebody to come back. Oh, that's my karmic. I'm waiting. My karmic's going to come back. No. Mm -mm. You need to stop looking back. You need to take action to bring success. You need to drive your ship out of this situation. If you want success and you want victory in your life, you need to leave the past behind. The past is dead. It's time to make that move. It's time to move. Move. Master your emotions. Take charge of your mind. Your heart. I know that you got a big heart. But you deserve a partnership that is going to bring you 
wish fulfillment that is going to bring you abundance, that is going to cherish you, that is going to be solid, that is going to be real, that is not going to cheat. That is not going to punish you whenever they don't get what they want. That is going to be equal. That chooses you. Or do you want to be codependent to a toxic situation just because you don't want to be alone? Or are you obsessed with fantasy? You have all the resources to be successful, but you have to get real and you have to get practical and you have to get grounded. And I don't see any groundedness here. There is somebody coming in or there is somebody around you that can help you. Could be a Gemini, could be another Cancer, could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But you, this, this is not the one that broke your heart. This is not the one that it's already ended with. It's not. It's not. You need to face forward, not backwards. You're only stalling your new life. You're, you are, you're stalling your new life. You're procrastinating because you're still in so much pain because of your big heart over that person that didn't love you. And the need to validate yourself. Pointing fingers at the other person that that person is with. Oh no, that's the wrong one. I'm the right one. No, that's your illusion. That's your illusion. You need to ground yourself. Get practical. Face forward, not backwards. Get moving, it's time to go. Good luck.